Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I am glad that you are back. Don't forget to comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. It really does help out the channel, okay? And it does help out other people to see the message, okay? And to hear from you, okay? In the comment section, all right? Okay, so today this reading is going to be a collective reading or for whoever needs to hear it, okay? Alright, so I did film a video like two nights ago um, when the full moon was doing its thing, but the message I got was a little wild and I was guided not to post it, so yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay. So for y'all, this is what I was getting, okay? I kept hearing uh, this part in a song that goes, can you keep up? Something, something, gotta catch my breath. La, 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 catch my breath. <laughs> catch my breath. <sighs> okay, something like that, okay? So it's like, almost like, um, you guys could be feeling like you have to, like, you, you you keep trying to have to catch up, okay? This could be even in regards of like your finances. Maybe you guys keep feeling like, like you get enough money, you pay for a bill. And then right as like, you you acquire more money, another bill's around the corner or something. Guess what? You're not alone, okay? Um, some of you could be feeling like, damn, can I get a break? Something like that, okay? I'm also getting like somebody is trying to keep up with you, okay? This could be a doppelganger or someone who's trying to copycat you or whatever. Um, somebody feels like they can't keep up with you, okay? Um, or if this, someone, if this is somebody who's trying to compete with you in a workplace setting or even like a, sibler, a sibling rivalry or whatever this is, like someone f knows that like, that you, you're out doing them or you're five steps ahead of them something like that is significant okay i feel like this could be pissing somebody off all right i also got something about the word better like i feel like things are gonna get better for you like you just need to hold on okay I feel like things will even get better when it comes to like, um, uh, things are gonna get better, okay? I'm also getting, okay, I'm gonna say it. I also am getting like, some of you could be having trouble with your child, like a baby. This could be a brand new baby or a baby that is already like, is still in your stomach. Um, congratulations if you're pregnant. But um, I feel like that will get better too, okay? Like you need more rest, right? I'm also getting some of you can find out that you're pregnant or somebody else is pregnant, okay? I also got something about the word no. So maybe you recently said no to someone and it like, you gotta like, someone could have like went into some sort of like rage, okay? Um, rageful energy like towards you or another individual. Someone didn't like the word no, okay? Or maybe it's hard for you to say no to a certain individual cause you know they might like rage at you or uh, react in a negative way, okay? I also got something about, like, five bucks. Either some, somebody could be, somebody could be mad at you because you owe them five bucks, or someone owes you five bucks. I don't know. Or something about, like, somebody wants to go in on something with you. Like, you know how, like, people say, like, I got five on it. Somebody may want to get, go in on something that you're doing, or some, some sort of idea, a creative project that you have. Um, you're going to find someone who wants to invest even like this could be like about a business. Somebody may want to invest in you. Okay. Or in your idea or in your dream, whatever this is. Okay. I also got the words like, Ooh, baby. So it's like either someone could be, somebody could be saying that to you. Maybe there's somebody like around you or someone you're going to run into. That's going to like want you to be their baby. I don't know. Something like that, okay? Um, let's see. 
I also got, there's like six people that are on the hush hush about something, either regarding you or regarding somebody else's situation. Like pe there's six people that are being quiet about something. Okay, it's like they don't want you to know something. Somebody doesn't want you to know like the fundamentals of something or the basics of something so that you can mess something up is what I'm getting. Like someone's not telling you vital information. Okay, I got something about ABC. All right. I also got something about like there's seven nutty people around you or they're like, I don't know, seven people that are going to, are losing their shit. I don't know. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to look up. Somebody could be um, 58 or 57, 34 years old. Let's see. I got to figure this out real quick. Okay, I could be talking to seven people in particular that's watching this video. Seven of you are going to be experiencing some sort of major life change, okay? And it's going to sweep you into a life that is at a rapid speed. Like, it's like a, like you're going to, it's going to blast off. Like, you're going to be, it's going to, you're going to take off. Some of you might be even, like, being called and told that there's, like, a plane ticket paid for you and it's, you got to fly somewhere. Or something you got to be somewhere at a certain time it's gonna happen fast it's gonna happen at a rapid rate is what I'm getting for you okay I know that sounds very specific but that is what I'm getting I also got something about um boo boo the fool uh woe is me so it's like there's somebody who feels like a fool now and this could be somebody who was like thinking they were hot shit or thinking that they were better than you or thinking that you weren't going to accomplish something that you've been uh, determined to accomplish. This person is is like saying, what was me? Like, why me? Why me? Why me? Okay. I don't know what that's about. Um, I don't know if this is something that's happening now or something that will be happening in the near future. Okay. For some of you. It's like someone doesn't want something to become better for you. Okay, this could be like someone doesn't want your finances to get better. They don't want your love life to improve. Someone doesn't want your health to improve um, your career or something. Okay, someone doesn't want this for you. Okay, I feel like this is someone who's been wishing the worst on you. Okay, I also got something about brain fog. So you guys could be experiencing some brain fog. Um, if this is you, uh, I suggest taking some lion's mane. Okay, that could help with your brain frog situation. Um, or drinking more water, but I do recommend the lion's mane, okay? I take it personally, and it works. Um, what else? I also got the, <laughs> um, the commercial in my head, um, We Will Fight For You by Larry H. Parker. So maybe some of you are talking to a lawyer or you need a lawyer, all right? Oh, yeah. I also got something about, um, some of you could be being hard on yourself right now. All right. Maybe you need to take time to, like, um, self-reflect, sit back and see, like, how maybe you could be a little more softer on you, on yourself. Okay. Maybe it's even, like, as simple as how you're talking to yourself. Like, I know I've caught myself several times being like, if I mess up on something, I'll be like, bitch, why didn't you do this and that? Like, I'll talk to myself. Like, Linda, you so, why did you fuck up? You know what I mean? But, you know, these are things that are changeable. They're, some, they're things that are fixable, if that makes sense. Okay? Maybe that's something that you're experiencing. All right? It's like um, some sort of self-forgiveness that needs to take place. All right? In order for a new energy to come through or for something to like run smoother, something like that is significant, okay? I also got something about IRS help. So somebody could be needing to get help 
because of something with the IRS, maybe you, somebody, or not you, maybe you, or someone you're dealing with, needs help with IRS. Maybe someone forgot to pay taxes, or someone lied on their taxes, or something like that, okay? Um, I don't know about you, but filling out tax forms is highly fucking confusing for me. So, I mean, just saying. Uh, what else? Um, someone's name could be James, Paul, Tony, Vincent, Kenny, Kathleen. Okay. I feel like there was someone else. No, I think that's it. Natalie. Um, I also got something about the book of James is significant for you guys. Okay. The book of James basically talks about, um, living upright. Okay. Like you're being called to live out a gen, like to live out genuinely in faith and through good works. Right. Without faith, we could never find the strength to trust God. Okay. And we can't go through adversity alone. Something like that. Something like that is significant. Okay. I also got something about somebody's trunk. There's something in your trunk. Like the trunk of your car or something. Your vehicle. Something about your trunk. Or something about like somebody being in someone's trunk. Or someone was trying to put you in a trunk. Or somebody has like a trunk they put important papers in i don't know what this is it doesn't even have to be attached to the car you know what i mean like those trunks those old school like i don't know all right i also got something about a a death okay a death by a beach or a death at a beach okay or someone needs to go to the beach or to a body of water like you might there's, it could trigger like some sort of transformation within you, within your soul, within your DNA makeup. Something like that is significant. Or there's like a message you're going to receive that will change a perspective. Okay. I also got something about a janitor's 401k. I don't know. Maybe I'm talking to someone who's a janitor. Something about your 401k is significant. Okay. I also got something about, like, um, there's someone, there's someone around you, or maybe you don't even know this person, I don't know, there's somebody that is, like, Catholic, someone's, like, highly Catholic, this person is, like, um, this person could be hating on you, okay, because of your spirituality, all right, I'm also getting, like, something about the way you glow, Somebody envies the way you glow or how free you are or something. I feel like this person could be trying to like convince you to become more traditionally religious or to like second guess your beliefs in your own spiritual growth or your spiritual beliefs in general. Okay. It's like something about rules and laws. Like someone wants you to follow the rules and the laws, but like you've already, how can I? Like you've already discovered that those, like faith matters more than rules and laws. Something like that is significant. Like someone doesn't like that the Holy Spirit is within you and you're free. Something like that. Something like that is significant. Like someone wants to bring you back to to being trapped or something like that. I don't know what this is. Okay. I feel like I could be talking to a light worker. Okay. There could be even like a church. It may not just be one person. It could be like a church that feels like you're stealing, you're stealing the church's money or something. They don't want you waking people up or something like that. And I also feel like there could be a priest that's stealing from like the collection plate or stealing from church or there's someone out here stealing from church. I don't know. Someone's selfish. You're going to find out how selfish someone really is. Okay. It's like someone is appearing as like someone who is holy, but they're not like their actions don't reflect that. Something like that is significant. Okay. 
or someone wants you to appear that way, something like that, okay? So the numbers you could be seeing are 511-411-777-222-555, okay? And the numbers that, like, really stood out for me were 313 and 919, okay? So let's just read what 313 says. It says, 313 angel number is a powerful message from the universe that signifies progress. It says, angel number 313 is a positive reminder that if you want to be successful, you should keep moving towards your goals. If you see angel number 313, take a moment to reflect on your direction in life, okay? That's for some of you. That's a message for some of you. And then with the 919 number, I think it's another message for another set of you. Um, let's see. 919 tells you that your spiritual journey is coming to an end. You have reconnected with your subconscious side and you are ready to embark on a new adventure in your life. But put simply, your angels are sending you this number to tell you well done. Okay, so that's for some of y'all. I feel like some of you are being called to go through something different than the other set of people. Something like that is significant. Okay, there's levels to this shit. Okay, I'm talking to people with different levels. Okay. How did that get over there? Okay, hold on. Give me a second. Somebody could be mis misplacing something or... You're going to be wondering why something... Maybe you've been wondering why something was done... Something like that. Spirit, can you tell me what's going on here? What does the collective need to know regarding what I have channeled for them? Oh yeah, that's it. That's another thing. Um, I also was seeing the words yin and yang again. So it's like somebody is about to meet like their divine partner. Somebody that's their perfect match. There's something you're supposed to do. This is like someone who's supposed to help you with your life purpose or something like that. Yeah, somebody you already know about something. All right, this is for this is a message for those who already know that some sort of victory and success is coming towards you. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do they need to know? I know, it's like 17 minutes in and we're already... Spirit... I can't make this one long, okay? We got positive, positive movement forward. So you guys definitely are making positive movement forward, okay? Yeah. I feel like you guys could be birthing some sort of new ideas, some sort of new creation, or some sort of new project. I don't know what this is. Whatever you're birthing, or this could be a literal child. I could be talking to a mother here. Um, whatever it is, it's going to turn out very, it's going to turn out very positively. It's going to be successful. Tell me more. I feel like you guys could be feeling like a little bit of doubt or some sort of anxiety about it. I'm here to tell you it's going to be fine. We got spiritual strength, number nine. Just keep keep walking in faith, okay, regarding whatever this is, okay? Keep your faith strong, yeah, because you could be having some sort of like envious or jealous people that want to stop you from receiving this or stop you, stop your determination, stop your direction in the life of the path that you're walking, Okay, so just be wary of that. Like you, like I was saying before, there could be seven people or six people that are around you that are trying to either distract you or try to push you down a different path. Okay, try to like re, try to rewire what you already know to be true. Something like that is significant. Like stand strong. Yeah, we got choose wisely. There's some sort of choice or some sort of decision that you're going to be met with when it comes to this. Okay. It's crazy. We got seven, eight, nine out here. So something that goes into order. All right. And then we got triumph success, number one. So there's going to be some sort of truth or some sort of clarity that you're going to understand or receive. What should I use? Hmm. Spirit, angels, what are you doing? Oh, 
place for it. Hold it. Like, what do they need to? This could even be regarding some sort of relationship. It doesn't have to be romantic. But there's some sort of like relationship or you're getting to know somebody. We got courtship here with positive movement forward. There could be some sort of message of concern regarding this. This could be somebody from the past or not from the past. Tell me more. Yeah, you guys are going to be receiving some sort of message, some sort of text, email, call, okay? Or some sort of information that may, like, test your faith is also what I'm getting, okay? Or you're going to find out that you're being um, honored with something or you got privileged lady at the bottom of the deck. Something is coming to you. Like, this is something you don't have to chase. Okay? Yeah, somebody needs to choose wisely, whatever this decision is, whatever this information that you're receiving, because it could lead you to having some sort of bad health or lead you to, like, not progressing. It could cause you to move backwards in some way, okay, in, in your mentality, your mood, your emotions, your... All the things, okay? That's what I'm getting here. And then we have false person at the bottom of the deck. I'm also getting, you could be getting some sort of um, message about somebody being sick. This could be from a false person. Okay. You're gonna get some clarity about some um, unexpected income coming through. Damn. But the thing is, it's, it could possibly lead to some sort of heartache or loss. You could be... This is sad. This could be somebody, like, passing away. Yeah. Your spirit guides want you to stay hopeful. Okay? And there's something about your throat chakra that is significant. There could be something that you want to say but you can't say. Or something that, like needs to be said that isn't said like like the energy of like six people going Shh. someone's gonna say something i feel like somebody somebody keeping something silent or under wraps is like um putting them through some sort of like mental conflict or some sort of mental disturbance whatever this communication that's going to be spoken is going to create some sort of towers for somebody or disrupt something okay Spirit wants you to stay strong and stand your ground when it comes to whatever this is, okay? Yeah. Whatever this is, it's going to bring some sort of new beginning or birth something new. Or this could be about a child, okay? Somebody could be 31 years old. Someone could be 27. Someone could be 18, all right? There could be a seven-year-old involved or a four-year-old involved. What else do they need to know? Ooh, chow. What do they need to know, Spirit? I'm also getting something about, like, someone feels like you have too much access. Someone doesn't like that you have too much access. Someone could be jealous of your the connection that you have with the divine or something. That's if this is, like, someone you're dealing with who's, like, Catholic or someone who's, like, uh, traditionally religious or something. Tell me more. Yeah, there's somebody that you need to disengage from. This could be somebody that you're dating or someone that you have some sort of relationship with or partnership with, okay? Tell me more. Or someone is finding it hard to tell someone no that they're in a relationship with, okay? Yeah, you're gonna get some message about some sort of money returning. God dang. Okay, hallelujah, okay? Wow, we have, there's a whole lot of money in this motherfucker. Spirit, tell me more. 
there's somebody in this situation that's heavily watching you because they know that you're going to be receiving this message soon. You could even be receiving some sort of like physical mail, okay? Someone's watching you heavily to, to see what you're going to do next or to see if you're in bad health. Someone could have been trying to plan to make you sick or something. We have, I'm sorry. Someone could be sorry for maybe, maybe you did feel, fall ill, okay? This could be in the past or a recent past or something or even now. I don't know. Somebody's been watching you. Maybe whatever they were trying to do, it didn't work and they're sorry. This could even be somebody trying to like fuck with your mental health. Like somebody wanted you to be like mentally disturbed or have you locked up in some sort of like psych ward. Okay, so that you wouldn't be able to receive this money is what I'm getting. Someone now feels defeated and they want to say I'm sorry. Okay. Um, this could be a family lover, friend, or business, okay? Someone in this situation try to put, like, a love spell on you or have you fall in love with them, but this person is actually a hater, okay? Yeah, that's who this, that's who wants to say I'm sorry. Some sort of hater. Someone's gonna come in and tell you the truth that they put, like, some sort of spell on you, okay? Yeah, something about a court case is significant. Or somebody's getting convicted, like, spiritually by the divine to say something, okay? Yeah, because somebody was out here playing games with you, okay? Or they thought everything was fun and games, but then somebody's somebody's experiencing their ass getting whooped by the divine. Or by your fucking ancestors and angels. Someone's getting their ass whooped. Somebody's realizing this ain't a game, is what I'm getting here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? Yeah, you guys could be seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities at this time. And something something is going to happen spontaneously for you, okay? Or something is going to be unexpected. I'm also getting whoever this person who's watching you might um, show up randomly at your door, your place of uh, work, or whatever. Someone's going to show up somewhere that you frequent. Um, that's what I'm getting here. Yeah, this person could be very obsessed with you. Okay, and what was I saying about the rage energy? We have pressure cooker here. It says rage ready to explode. So this person could be like coming at you with this type of energy. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? Thank you. Yeah, there's some sort of love affair that you might be aware of that someone's involved in or this is something you're involved in. I don't know. Okay, we got dirty little secret downloads, so somebody could, you could know that somebody is, like, interested in another individual or the other sex or something, okay? Regardless of what it is, somebody could just be purely, like, lusting after you, okay? Someone wants to have access to your body. You see how, like, these look like little gears or, like, little keys or something? Someone wants to have access to your body, Okay? Someone knows that time is running out or there's some sort of deadline or someone's like, this person could be just wanting to waste their time. I don't know. Tell me more. Yeah, we got surviving daily hustle, hamster wheel. So like I was saying, you guys could be feeling like you're paying for a bill and then two days later you got another goddamn bill and you're just like, when the fuck is this going to end? Don't worry. It's going to end. Yeah, and someone could be obsessed about how much money you make, or someone could be obsessed about, like, um, I don't know, someone's more focused on your finances than you're focused on your, finance, your finances at this point. Something like that is significant. Tell me more. Yeah. Someone in this situation could be a divine feminine, or divine masculine is who I could be talking to. Okay, I'm also getting... There's somebody here that wants to be the divine feminine. Like, somebody here wants to be, like... Someone wants to be like you, but they're not you, and they keep watching you. You and this person don't get along. I'm also getting someone's going to divorce someone soon, or this is someone you're divorced with, or broke up with. Tell me more. Yeah, it's broke up. Tell me more. We got Verge here. It says, about to reveal or confess. Yeah, so someone here is about to reveal or confess to you something about someone being in bad health. Or someone trying to get you in bad health. Um, someone's going to confess about how they've been watching you. Someone's going to confess that they see you as a divine feminine even. Okay. Yeah. This could be in writing. Someone can confess this in writing. I'm also getting with court case being out here. Someone could be like 
being interrogated and they're going to have to confess and write a confession letter or something like that. Okay, yeah. Whoever this person is is obsessed. This could be like somebody who's stalking you. Is going to get caught for stalking you? Tell me more, spirit. Like this stalker might pop up on you and you, they end up going to jail or something. I don't know. Spirit, tell me more. Yeah, we got today here. So this is something that's happening in the present. It, who's stalking you? Could be a complete stranger or it could be someone from your family because we have family here. Okay. Yeah, somebody, whoever this, this person is, they're fucking upset. Okay. Yeah. We have escapade here. It says vacation, hideaway, or adventure. This adventure word. You guys are going to start something new. Okay, but I feel like something has to blow up first. I don't know what that means, but that's what I'm getting here. Someone could be of Asian descent. Also, someone could be African American. Okay. Yeah, someone feels like they can't get enough of you. I'm also getting somebody could be ask, acting thirsty. Like someone does anything for clout, do anything for clout, do anything for clout. Someone could be a clout chaser. Okay. Whoever this person is, they're crushed. They feel sad without you. Or this is like what they're going to say when they come towards you. They might want to come in and like tell you some sort of sob story. Okay. I don't know. It could be real. Their sob story could be legitimate, but I don't know. Tell me more about this. Dude. Okay, I feel like someone also wants to put you in this sad, crushed energy by sending you like some sort of information that they know is going to make you sad or wants or to make you depressed or something. Someone could bring up like something that triggers you. This person is going to come do this like and pop up on you like spontaneously or like out of nowhere without like, you know what I'm saying. This person might come with some sort of receipts or to show you some proof. I don't know what this is. I don't know if you heard that, but my something drops, my roommate dropped something and then uh, their alarm went off. So it's like, someone's gonna get a fucking wake up call, okay? Something's going to wake you up. What does this person look like? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Now, the, these characteristics and traits could be of you or it could be of whoever else is involved. Okay, that's how the, the energy of these cards work. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? What do these people look like? Okay, we got short or shorter than you. Okay. Tell me what's right. Thank you. We got brown, hazel, or gray eyes. We have fresh lineup, baby hairs. Somebody could have recently got their hair did. Okay, so <laughs> more spirit. What else do we need to know? We got brown, dark complexion. I also feel like somebody um, could like to wear a lot of gold jewelry. Somewhere. We have tattoos, birthmarks. Something significant about someone's tattoos or birthmarks are significant. Are you even thinking about getting a tattoo? Something like that. We got thick eyebrows, hairy. This card always comes out. 
Tell me more. I'm also getting somebody could be of the Muslim faith, okay? Maybe someone wants you to convert to Muslimness. I don't know. Don't say I could be pronouncing this wrong. Someone could want you to convert to Islam. Is that what that is? The proper way to say it? Or if you are like Muslim, someone wants you to convert to like Christianity or something else. I don't know. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more. We have big smile, straight teeth. Okay, we have Taurus, Earth sign. Taurus in the house. And we got pink, fuchsia, or coral. Somebody has a pink um, cell phone case. Try more. We have Scorpio, water sign. Could be involved in this situation. Okay, so we got Taurus, Scorpio so far. What else? And we got Capricorn here. Okay. What other signs are involved in this spirit? What else do they need to know? What else does the collective need to know regarding this situation? What other confirmations do they need? What zodiac signs are involved in this? A Gemini could be involved in this situation, or you could have Gemini somewhere in your chart. An Aquarius could be involved in this situation, or you could have Aquarius somewhere in your chart. We got Virgo. You guys, you guys could have Virgo somewhere in your chart, or you're dealing with the Virgo. Sorry, I got distracted. I, my camera keeps like focusing in and out for some reason, which is very weird. It doesn't normally do that. It's like someone keeps like someone's someone's taking like a closer look at something or reflecting on some sort of relationship they're in or or a job or who they're hanging out with something like that or who they're friends with someone could be a pisces or someone could have pisces somewhere in their chart okay and then we have libra so get Alberta now remember big birth okay it's not for everyone all right Just take her with a grain of salt Also getting like someone doesn't want you to walk through a, a doorway someone doesn't want you to walk through something someone doesn't want you to be like certified or vindicated initiated someone doesn't want you to Something like that. Or someone wants is competing with you. They want to do it before you do it. I don't know what this is. Okay. We got laugh now, cry later. That's just chilling here. Okay. We got something about the first quarter moon is significant. Okay. And we have shit has hit the fan. What was I saying? <laughs> Something's gonna blow up. We got uh, the movie Forrest Gump is significant. Somebody could find out that somebody has HIV or AIDS. Or someone's going to be on the run. Okay, we got um, angry because they broke and you wait. Okay, Holy Spirit, High Angels, what do they need to know? You guys could be dealing with a water sign or you are a water sign or you have water somewhere in your chart. You guys could be seeing the number 1144. You might need to look this number up, okay? We have I gossip about you. So you're going to find out that somebody in this situation who was gossiping about you, um, 
they're about to experience some sort of tower moment. Okay, we have I am woman, I am whatever she says. <laughs> I am fearless, I'm divine, something like that. Okay. Someone may not like um, your independence, is what I'm getting here. We got a thief here. Someone in this situation is a fucking thief. It could be a water sign. Don't have to be. Someone in the situation was harassing another individual, okay? Or is going to harass another individual. Okay, we have Judaism here. Something about an Aquarius is significant, or you could have Aquarius somewhere in your chart. We have it be the ones you're closest to. So somebody's um somebody somebody who they didn't suspect was an enemy is an enemy. Okay, we got 333. You guys could be seeing 333 a lot. We have suffering is dissolving and choosing the best possible path. Okay, we have lied about commitment. So someone in the situation lied about some sort of commitment. This could be someone of Jewish descent. You could be someone who has Jewish descent, okay? I'm also getting something about the tribes of Israel is significant. We have the word no, okay? Like I channeled before, something about the word no is significant. Maybe somebody said no to an Aquarius and the shit hit the fan, okay? Something like that. We got hiring a, lo a lawyer is significant. What was I saying? Someone's going to fight for you. You're going to find a lawyer or you're trying to find a find a lawyer that will fight for you fairly or something like that. We have they uh, trying to make you feel guilty. So someone in this situation is going to try to make you feel guilty. Whoever stole from you is going to try to make you feel guilty. Spirit, tell me more. Like it was your fault that they stole? I don't know. Something like that. Wow. <laughs> we have you are protected. Okay. There's going to be something about some sort of forged signature. Someone could have been saying, no, they didn't forge a signature, but they did. Somebody's first, middle, or last name starts with an R, okay? Whoever this person is, is someone who loves to complain and does nothing about their issues, okay? This is like someone who just loves to complain. Like, they'll come to you with, like, their problem, <laughs> and then you try to suggest something to them, but they, like refuse to listen it's because they like they like to complain they don't really want their problem to go away holy spirit holy angels can you tell me more what do they what do they need to know something about somebody's uh stolen identity is significant or you're gonna find out that a water sign stole your identity or i could be talking to a water sign okay we have neighborhood is gossiping so your neighbors or some sort of community that you're involved in it could be um I don't know, a synagogue that you go to, they're gossiping about you, okay? But Divine wants you to know that you are protected. Okay, tell me more. We got Iron Giant. It says you are who you choose to be. You choose. We got clogged, plugged ears. So there's somebody that's not listening, okay? Or somebody that ignored some sort of warning when it came to like... This could have even been like a lawyer that advised someone to not do something and they did it anyway. Someone's dumb as hell. We got slept with someone higher up to cover their ass. So whoever stole from you, they know someone or they're connected with someone who's in some sort of position of power. This could be a cop. This could be some sort of lawyer. This could be some sort of boss. Someone who works for the government. I don't know. Whoever this person is, you can identify them by their fake laugh. <laughs> Someone's definitely a light worker up in here that I'm talking to. Okay, someone definitely could be stalking you. Especially if you're a light worker, someone could be stalking you because of the way you glow, okay? Because of your aura, how healing and calming it is, okay? Someone can't like, someone feels like your energy is irresistible. They can't get enough of it, okay? Something about a new apartment. Some of you might be moving, okay? Or someone was, like, advised not to, like, get a new apartment or something. I don't know. We have invasion of privacy. Something about invasion of privacy is significant. Somebody could have been, like, snooping through your information. Someone might get charged with a misdemeanor. Or there's somebody in this situation that already has a misdemeanor, okay? Something about somebody's foster dad is significant. 
to somebody's stepdad or a father that's like hasn't been uh present in a child's life is significant this could be a baby father tell me more something about a private investigator is significant spirit wants you to focus on yourself there could have been a private investigator that was told to stop fucking with you or stop following you or start get stop gathering information against you okay but they didn't listen i'm also getting if your family members or your close friends or an ex hired some sort of like private investigator against you or even a company or a church whatever whatever it could be they were they were advised not to do this or to stop it okay but they didn't listen i feel like they're going to be experiencing some sort of like repercussions with that or you're gonna have to hire some sort of lawyer in in order to like sue them maybe you might sue these people okay for invading your privacy we have co-worker is plotting on you so you could have a co-worker or someone who's around you that is plotting on you okay something about a fake account is significant so someone could be pretending to be you um wait that didn't say fake account it said fake accent so there's someone in this situation could be like pretending they have an accent when they don't or someone's not using their real voice okay or someone could have a fake account of you and could be plotting on you to like have you say something that's not you or to make it look like it's you something like that is significant yeah okay we have criminal someone in the situation is a criminal you're gonna find out that somebody is a criminal or someone's gonna get charged with a or gonna be involved in some sort of criminal case we got 999 you could be seeing this number a cycle is gonna close and a new one's gonna begin we got mother here somebody's mother is involved in this situation or you're a mother okay and we got stealing from the job this is what i got from this other read there could be somebody, somebody's mother could be getting in trouble for stealing from the job, okay? We got Taurus. Someone could be a Taurus or I could be talking to a Taurus or someone has Taurus somewhere in their chart. Tell me more. We have, I'm praying on your downfall, fake friend, partner, etc. Someone in this situation does not have your back like you think they do, okay? Someone's first, middle, or last name could start with a B, okay? The movie um, Prince of Egypt is significant or something about the story of Moses is highly significant in this situation. Someone doesn't want you to continue to free people. I'm also getting something about the brand free people is significant. Maybe you shopped there recently or you, you like the brand or something. Ciao. Someone is trying to gaslight you or will gaslight you and try to make you feel guilty for something that they did to you. Something about the waxing gimbus moon is significant. Someone needs to fine tune something or someone needs to tune up or finish up something. You might find out that someone, this is what I did. This is part of the read I didn't want to do. Okay, but I'm going to say it anyway. There's someone in this situation that you're going to find out that is attracted to minors. This could be somebody's father, somebody's mother, um, a water sign, someone who has a fake accent, someone with a misdemeanor or a criminal record, um, a private investigator. I don't know. It could be so many other people. Just put it where it applies. Someone in the situation might be getting or receiving some sort of life sentence, okay? Or someone's like, someone fucked up their whole rest of their life karmically because of what they did to you is also what I'm getting. Someone in this situation has a mental illness, okay? Someone definitely wants you to feel guilty or someone is going to be found guilty of some something, okay? We have mental, ugh, I can't talk right now. Something about a mental illness, okay? Someone feels like time is running out or I also feel like somebody could have been trying to make you look like you have a mental illness, but they had to prove this in a certain amount of time, especially if this is some sort of court case that's going on, this person could have ran out of time. Something about a foster mom, foster mom and foster dad came out here. So I'm also feeling like this is like a, like a, like a bad mom and a bad dad 
or something that are trying to do this against you. Okay, we have November. Something about November is significant. Maybe that was the time frame that they had. We are in December now. Okay, we have now they're running back. Now they're running back to you. Stay strong. Maybe they could improve something against you. Okay, so now the shit's hitting the fan. Something's not going as planned. And that fucking rhymed. Okay, we got candy camera. I got you on candy camera now. So somebody could have been trying to like get proof or receipts against you and it didn't work or you have proofs and receipts of these people or this person something like that is significant someone's going to be set free someone's going to get set free oh, holy spirit holy angels what else do they need to know jesus what else do they need to know regarding what I have channeled and these messages that we just received? What else do they need to know? Yeah, expect change. 555. Five, five. Expect some sort of change, okay? But um, there's something that you need to be cautious of or someone you need to be cautious of, okay? Why is there only going to come We have um, pendulum decision. You guys can work with pendulums, okay? Like I said, there's some sort of decision that you need to make or you're going to be met with. Okay, we got scrying mirror projection. You guys could be getting a lot of thoughts that aren't yours is what I'm getting here. And we got numerology precision. You guys are seeing a lot of numbers. You guys are seeing a lot of synchronicities. Please do your own research when it comes to these angel numbers, okay? It hits different when you look at them yourself, okay? That's all I'm going to say. We got crystals and healing, okay? So maybe right now would be a good time to work with some sort of crystals, okay? Or it's a good time to, like, pull away your energy and to heal at this time. Let me see what the heck this is. Walk quick. Ooh, we got confidence and growth here. Okay. Tell me more, Spirit. Damn. There's somebody that you might need space from, okay? Somebody might get angry. We got anger at the bottom of the deck. What do we got to sit in here? Okay, I feel like Spirit is saying that you, you're you capable of making a confident decision, okay, when it comes to um, the matters of love is what I'm getting, because this, this crystal here is in the shape of a heart, okay? Or you need to have confidence when it comes to, like, opening up your heart again or to love again or to trust again or something like that there's something that needs to be released when it comes to this subject oh no, what is that? someone could be trying to make you feel uh be filled with anxiety because they're filled with anxiety or someone wants you to feel fearful because they are feeling fearful someone's angry this anger card, like, is continuous. <laughs> and something about your faith is significant. Your ancestors and angels are talking to you through numbers heavily right now. They want to give you messages of encouragement regarding whatever you're going through. Yeah, encouragement. Something to keep you strong. Okay. Okay. Dude, you're about to be successful. Um, if you're someone who, like, deals with um, crystals or something or some sort of healing modality, you're going to become very successful. Look, oh, my God, I can't make this up. We got abundance as well. Okay. Or you may be going somewhere and doing, like, some sort of crystal healing session, okay? Okay. I 
feel like that's going to help you energetically and it will bring in some sort of abundance for you, okay? But there is something you need to be cautious about. I want to know what this card is real quick. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what have we got that here? Someone made a decision about something and that they're unhappy with, okay? Like someone was unhappy, so they made a decision to change something, okay? This could be something about themselves, their own men mentality, some sort of habit, okay? Or their surroundings or some sort of person that, are, that they're around, okay? And then there's somebody in this situation that is choosing to be happy, okay? Like someone wants to end some sort of cycle with another individual. Tell me more. Tell me more about it. Yeah, there's something that is faded, okay, when it comes to two people or something about your destiny is significant. Like, time has already ran out for somebody or something is ending. Something is very much ending, like it's done, like it's overcooked. I don't know what this is. This could be like you working at a certain workplace, a mentality, um, some sort of fear, um, a relationship, whatever this could be, okay? Like, you're tired of the circle. You're tired of the go-around. Yeah, and you need to be very... Someone needs to take a very logical approach to something. Yeah. There's something that's like... There's also something that you're not seeing. Someone's not seeing something. Or someone wants you to be blinded when you make a decision about something. It's like someone doesn't want you to reject an offer or reject something. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Someone could be worried about their penis. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Someone's worried about their sex? Or someone finding out about sexual things that they do? I don't know. Whoever this person is, they may have a lot of love for you. Or this could be a new relationship or something. I need to stop, okay? Whoever this person is, they're... Somebody wants to come in, okay? They want to have the Ten of uh, Cups with you. Someone sees you as, like, wish fulfillment. Yeah, someone wants to celebrate with you. This also could be someone from the past. I don't know. Maybe that's why the uh, anxiety is here. Someone's nervous. That you're going to reject them or something. Or not want to deal with them. I don't know who this is. I don't know, but you out here looking pretty, smelling good. Okay, you look it good. Someone finds you really mysterious as well, okay? Very vibrant, okay? Yeah, someone wants to come in and offer you this, like, Ace of Cups here. Ten of Pentacles, I can't make this up, bro. Anyone? Yeah, someone wants to have an even good give and take with you. Whatever this relationship is going to be, this whatever this relationship is, romantic or not, it's healing. Someone's going to come in and apologize to you or share some sort of emotions. Yeah, someone may want a second chance. We got ten of pentacles. I'm also getting your ancestors and angels could have already called a judgment on somebody. Whoever this person is, they want to come in and message you or offer you something. I don't know. You're going to find out. Okay, who is this person? And I got to end this soon. Okay, whoever this person is feels like they, um, they may feel like they're not enough for you. Maybe that's why we have this anxiety card here. We have frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues. 
Okay, we got sunglasses. It says watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, projection, focusing out. I don't know, guys. What is, hold on, what? Hold on. There was a card that flipped, okay, maybe not. Yeah, someone wants to come in with some sort of sexual energy. Or maybe this is something that happened in the past, okay? Whatever this is, something is over when it comes to this. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. I gotta wrap this up. I gotta wrap it up. Wrap it up. Some of you need to wrap it up. Okay, just saying. What kind of good things can they expect, Spirit? What kind of good things can the collective expect in the next week? You're going to have reason to fucking celebrate. Okay? You guys could be going out and um, having fun with a group of friends, okay? Or colleagues. We have news worth celebrating. It says joyful announcements like engagements, weddings, pregnancy, or graduation. A time for gratitude, close communities, or chosen families. Okay? I also feel like you guys could be, like, meeting, like, your, um, soul family, okay? Your people who are part of your soul tribe. We have so much to celebrate. Send gratitude to the divine and the angels for the peace and prosperity coming to you. Peace and contentment in your personal life. So, yeah, you guys could be, uh, attracting a new love into your life, okay? We have ego here, though. It says the illusion of being trapped. Accept responsibility for your situation and then make choices that support your path to happiness. Addictions are unhealthy habits. So there's something that needs to be released or let go. It could be a mentality, a habit, etc. Okay. And there's some sort of renewal happening here. You guys could be dealing with a Leo or a Scorpio. Okay. Or a Taurus, Aquarius. Who else is there there's another fixed sign okay we have reviewing the past with compassion and forgiveness time to head in a new direction clarity on your life purpose in your heart you know what to do someone needs to someone needs to follow the signs and synchronicities that they're getting from their ancestors and angels regarding their life purpose you know the answers you see them Someone needs to do research or someone needs to do more research or more digging or something like that is significant. Okay. Let me see what else. And then I gotta then I gotta wrap it up. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do they need to know? Any other additional confirmations for them? We got divorced. So somebody could be divorced in this situation or is getting divorced, or someone's divorce is getting finalized, or something like that. Okay. We got old, some sort of, something is getting old here, or someone is older, up in age, okay, or someone's older than you. Tell me more, Spirit. Okay, somebody could be a tree hugger, or someone who could be um, an environmentally cautious individual. Tell me more. Someone in this situation could be a third wheel, or there's some sort of third party in this situation. Tell me more. We got Chugi. Something could be out of date, or someone could be trying too hard. It could be somebody. It could be this third party. Someone in a situation could be pregnant. Someone in a situation could have an athletic body, or someone who's trying to like compete or run a race or outdo someone. It could be this pregnant third party individual. Someone in a situation is uncoordinated, or some sort of plan or organization is uncoordinated. Okay. Someone might be getting divorced and then quickly getting engaged. I don't know. And someone is thirsty. What was I saying? Somebody out here thirsty as hell. <sighs> what kind of places are significant for them? We got the moon. You guys could have saw the moon earlier or been watching the moon. Okay. Something about a circus, somebody, something, something could be going on that's been crazy since the full moon, or like, 
your life has been like of a circus. Something about Chipotle is significant. I could be talking to someone who works at Chipotle or you ate Chipotle recently. Something about McDonald's. You could work at McDonald's or somebody works at McDonald's or you ate McDonald's recently. Something about the emergency room is significant. Maybe somebody went to the emergency room recently. Tell me more. Or someone might. Because we did have bad health that came out here. We got theater. Someone could want to take you to some sort of movie theater or someone... I could be talking to an actor or an actress, okay? Or you're an inspiring one, okay? Something about a garage is significant. Something in a garage could have happened recently. Someone could be going to jail. And it fell on the floor. So maybe that's the tower moment that someone's gonna be receiving. Someone going to jail. Someone could be in New York. Someone might be having to plan a wedding soon. Damn, spirit, tell me more. Somebody could be a masseuse, okay, or somebody works with their hands, okay. Someone could be a coach, a basketball coach, or something like that, or something about a coach bag or earrings, something like that. We got influencer. I could be talking to an influencer. Or someone's been coaching or influencing someone on to ask someone to marry someone. I don't know, something like that. Someone feels like they're a fucking clown. Or someone feels, someone wears a lot of makeup. I don't know. Something about Elon Musk is significant. This man got a sexy ass mind. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Spirit, tell me more. <laughs> tell me more. We got telemarketer is significant. Okay. I don't know how to pronounce this right now. I feel like uh, this. Mm, I don't know. I think this is like someone who works with cancer patients. Right? Or something about a penis. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Someone could be a rapper. Somebody's your arch enemy and you're going to find out. Whoever this, whoever was telling shit about you or spreading some sort of... With this telemarketer card, it's giving me like a smear campaign. So you're going to find out who was like the mastermind behind it. Someone could be a rapper. You're going to find out who was giving you, like, throwing you some sort of diss track, okay? And someone could be um, high on pills, okay? Or could be an, anesthe an anesthesiologist, okay? Or someone's going to need to be put under the knife or have some sort of surgery, all right? Let's end it. I got to end it now because I got to go. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Should I use these? Yeah. What do they need to hear? What does the collective need to hear regarding this situation? We have gifts from God. It says, we angels bring you gifts from the creator. Open your arms to receive. So you're about to receive some sort of blessings from the divine. Okay, it's going to have you reason to celebrate. We have cl clairsentience. It says, notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. Okay. You're being divinely guided right now. You need y'all, whoever's watching me, you need to pay attention. Someone needs to fucking pay attention. Someone needs to wake the fuck up. I don't know who needs to hear this. We got compassion. It says, soften your heart with respect to this to this situation and all the people involved, including yourself. So something about forgiveness is here, okay? And we have leadership. It says it's time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. You're being called to step the fuck up, okay? And there's some sort of brilliant idea that you have that's gonna, you gonna fucking create this shit in the physical, okay? We have brilliant idea. It says, yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea into fruition. Take action, please. Okay. We need innovators. 
We need people to bring in new things, just like Elon, Elon Musk, okay? Um, all right, this is gonna be the end of your reading. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And if you already have, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. I love you guys. I would not be doing this without y'all. Um, yeah, and if you guys want a personal reading, don't forget to check my uh, the description box below for my email, which is lindalikestarot at gmail.com. Okay, until next time, I love you. Okay, bye.